A student of mine today asked, what do you think about when you're improvising? Like, what, what is going through your mind? Stay creative. So I thought, mm, that's a good question. And it's a question that I have been asking uh, people who I admire. Look at my channel and, and you can see there's a few videos about how to improvise and how to be melodic. And there's different approaches like motif development and you know, being able to use guy tones and then embellish those guy tones in, in different ways. But essentially, when it's time to improvise, you're not really thinking about these stuff. You have been practicing these arpeggios, scales, embellishments of guy tones, how to develop motives, all of these kind of stuff. You've been practicing these so much in an efficient way, hopefully, where it's just like automatic. You're not thinking about it. So what should you be thinking about? How is your sound? How are you blending with the situation? The situation can be maybe with the band, you know, maybe the pianist just played a C7 sharp 9 voicing, like, how are you blending with that? How does that make you react? Or maybe you, you're playing solo guitar, for example, or solo piano, and you just played something and, hmm, that's interesting what I just played, how can I develop that, you know? That's maybe a, the more conscious side of things that is going on. You don't really have time to be like, oh, well, oh, this scale now, oh, what is that scale? Um, let me figure it out. You don't have that kind of time. And if you think about it, like right now, I'm talking about the subject, right? And I'm not really thinking about what it is I am saying and what are the letters of each word. I'm just talking using the language I have, right? The, the English I have uh, developed over the years, right? So it's kind of like the same thing. Music is a language, maybe a more advanced language in terms of that you gotta m keep maintaining your scales, your arpeggios, your chords, your technique. You really need to maintain it. The balancing act of being in the moment versus thinking and non-thinking and also reflecting. So let me explain how you could do this. Let's say you're, uh, you have a practice session and you want to be able to not only work and maintain the core elements of music such as arpeggios, you know, triads, voice leading, scales, all these core element stuff that by, way, by the way you can check out on my website wiseguitar.com uh, check it out in the description below. It's called Galactic Modern Guitar. You're gonna love it. Check it out. So not only that, you know, maintain that. Also be able to kind of invite that into an actual situation where you're gonna use it musically. Because remember, whatever you're learning all these kind of stuff, arpeggios, scales, trials, all these stuff, you're learning it because you want to be able to direct it into the, the most important thing, which is the, the actual music creation, composition, or improvisation. Now, let's say you're practicing arpeggios and you're practicing voice leading. So, right away, you know, use these concepts over an actual music, musical situation. Let's say you can, maybe you can play that over rhythm changes if you're, if you're into that, or, or some jazz fusion tune you're working on or maybe a rock jazz tune you're working on with your band, whatever it is. Start putting the stuff you're working in into actual situation where you can then, with time and practice, subconsciously just go for it and just have them a part of your vocabulary, your language, a, a part of something that you use to express something. Another thing that is very important to do, which you can maybe put in the third part of your practice routine is to reflect. So a good thing to do is maybe record yourself, you know, maybe just with your phone, with the, with the you know, video yourself playing or, or record yourself playing and just like listen and kind of analyze what it is you're doing and what could be improved. And you, you keep doing that and, and you keep improving the actual thing 
which is the music creating and you know you keep maintaining the core elements you keep taking these core techniques and concepts into actual forms and tunes and you reflect on them and it starts feeding your imagination and you start to develop this thing where you're kind of like you're seeing in your mind's eye in your mind's ear your ideal kind of musical self and little by little with the maintenance of the you know the elements the mechanics and being able to put them over actual musical songs forms and the reflection you're manifesting what you're imagining and it comes to a situation where when you're playing you're not even judging anything you're just you have this confidence of you know craft and being prepared where you're just going for the sound that you want to very honestly express because you've been developing it and then you're not really thinking you're just aware about sound mm, interesting where I'm gonna go with it you know you're kind of writing the story as as you go so this is a big rant never did a video like this before but a student asked and I answered him and then I was like hmm that's an interesting topic maybe I can share it with you guys as always I keep uploading videos once or twice a week so please make sure to subscribe hit the notification bell that's really important and comment you know it's been a blast talking to you guys in the comments recently so maybe we can do more of that just this you know Q&A or just a conversation people adding stuff that will mix everything uh, worth all this uh, effort of making these videos for uh, for you guys that's it thanks so much for watching as always check out my website wiseguitar.com check out uh, check out Galactic Modern Guitar and 51 Galactic Jazz Licks those are um, a big part of my website wiseguitar.com and uh, I'll see you in the next video guys thanks for being here